Good afternoon, everybody. It's June 5th, 2020, and today we're going to talk about the Scott Speedster. And the real story about it is how do you look cool, have a fast-looking bike on a budget? Well, this is a perfect example of a perfectly set-up bike on a budget. This bike retails at about $850. Some shops have it on sale for $739. That's what I paid for it. Why did I buy it? You know, I bought it simply because it was a great value. Um, I like looking at Sora equipped bikes, and there's a lot out there. Super heavy ones, not so compliant ones. But Scott really hit it on the nail when they made this bike. They spec'd it out nice. They used a lot of their own parts, the Synchros parts, which are really nice parts. They put synchros wheels, synchro seat post saddle, and that saddle is actually very, very comfortable. It reminds me of a fabric scoop that I have. Um, stem, everything the way they set up, it's uh, performance geometry. So that means the head tube is going to be a little bit taller than normal. But to solve that issue, just basically slam the stem. I have only a one spacer below the stem, and it really stretched out the bike nicely. I also pushed back the saddle. Um, what did I do to make this bike look decent? Well, I didn't want a seat bag on it, so I used an elite bottle cage to keep my spare tube, my uh, tire levers, and my air canister. What else? I put some Shimano 105 carbon pedals. They just look good. Uh, look at the caps on the valves. I put uh, red caps on the valves just to set off the wheels nicely, and I like valve caps simply because uh, it really protects the French valves, but more importantly, it looks good. Yeah, I know, looks aren't the most important thing to a bike, but if your bike looks good, you look good, and you feel good, everything falls into place. Now, anybody getting passed by this bike is, is going to say, wow, that's a cool bike. They don't realize it as Tecro brakes. They don't realize it as a Sora group set. And they don't realize you only spent $740 on the bike. You know why? Because you're going to be keeping up with some carbon fiber wonder bikes. You're going to be keeping up with a lot of people on this bike. And you're, this is a gateway bike, an entry-level bike. Not an entry-level race bike, but an entry-level road bike. So what can you do on it? Dude, what's a bike intended to do from go to A to Z? From traveling, getting out in the open, just riding and, and getting fit. That's what a bike's for. So that's what it's going to do. Uh, it's not a super lightweight bike. It's not a super fast bike. But I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. It's your legs that are going to get you where you want to go. Yeah, is it nice to have a full carbon fiber bike? Is it nice to have really hot high-end parts? Of course it is. But it's not necessary. You know what's, what's really cool It's going to make you feel good you still have money in the bank and you got a bike that looks good now when you kit it out kit it out nicely make sure everything matches and when you put your personal kit on make sure it complements the bike you know I wouldn't wear fluorescent green with a bright red bike I just wouldn't do it um, Damien is it necessary to take a poop right in front of my bike this little guy he's a poop master but anyways guys whew, it's a big one too uh, anyways, guys, this is just, you know, giving you an idea. It's a simple bike. It's a good-looking bike. You know, if budget's an issue, man, go out and spend 740 bucks and get a nice-looking bike. Put a few accessories on it. It's going to look sweet. I mean, the accessories on this bike probably are an additional 150 200 bucks. That still doesn't break the bank, guys. Um, this is way better than buying a used bike. This is way better than buying somebody else's problems. Unless the seller is a reputable seller, be careful with used bikes. You know, bikes, you know, sometimes you get lucky. Like if you bought a bike from me, you're going to get real lucky. I sell good stuff. But not everybody does, and I've heard some horror stories. Uh, so be smart. Look at your ability. Look at what you want to do with it. What would, if, if I was a new cyclist... And uh, I was thinking, man, what would be the first major upgrade on this bike? You guys all know the answer. A set of wheels. A set of nice wheels. A set of nice hubs. And that's going to cost you anywhere from three to 400 bucks. 
But you know what? It'll set the bike off nice. And I've already thought about that, but I don't need it. I have too many bikes in my stable, so I don't need it. But if you if your budget was $750, whatever, and eventually you really get the bike bug like I, I've had for the last 35 years, uh, you're going to want a set of wheels. I'm telling you now, and I'll tell you forever, the best investment on a bicycle is a new set of wheels. That's going to set your bike off. That's going to make it lighter, quicker, quicker, faster. And you're going to hopefully have the ability at that point to really utilize it. So if you guys have any questions on what this bike is all about, but more importantly, hey man, does it look good? Or am I bragging too much? I think it looks sweet. But if uh, you guys think I it can make it better, let me know.